Today I want to take you on a tour of Real House. It's Tuesday, January 9, 2018, and it looks like I'm almost the first ones here to walk around. So let's take a look through the snow. Going to head down the main path to the parking lot. As you can see from the tracks, I'm not quite the first one here. Here's our berm, and you should be able to see squirrel tracks and rabbit tracks back and forth. So we'll see how this grows in the spring once uh, we have we have irises and daylilies, and we will be planting some prairie crocus in here as we get closer to spring. Here's the parking lot garden, and I'm going to zoom in and just see how, how what we can see in there. This spring, this spring we want to find somebody with a scythe that can cut down the native plants. The ideal method would be to burn them, but at this stage that wouldn't be a very wise idea. Uh, it would take much too much planning with the neighbors to start a fire in the middle of uh, a suburban area. So this year we're going to look to get someone to cut it down with a scythe and then we're going to collect all the um, debris and uh, put it in various parts of the woodland area hoping that there will be plants, wild plants from here that will grow in those areas as well. Okay, let's come to the right here and we'll go into the entrance area. Over here we've planted more irises and daylilies. This entrance bed has columbines and hostas and bleeding hearts and we need to thicken up this area and make it lusher. The entrance bed on the left has uh, dianthus and uh, peonies and same thing as the other bed we want to focus on making that thicker and lusher as the, as the year progresses. In other words we don't want to be seeing the mulch. The mulch is important to keep the weeds down but we want to see less mulch and more plants. Let's wander on and we'll go up and around around the property.
1886 and uh, the house is in mourning because of the death of Louis Riel. If you've seen our tour, here's the uh, tree that was coppiced many years ago and these branches were allowed to, these shoots were allowed to grow. We've cut out the shorter ones and periodically we're going to cut out these longer ones with the uh, anticipating that the plant and roots underneath will continue to sprout more shoots. The Parks Canada red chair. Someone's faced them the other way, so they face south in the in the sun. That'll be really nice in the springtime. Okay, we're going to go to the end of the property, and then around and into the into the produce garden. Here we go across the snow. Pardon me. Here's some Virginia creeper at the corner. And if we can focus in. We should be able to see some of the buds even at this early time preparing for spring too close Carraganas, we will eventually determine how to replace them. They're very old and very scrawny, but for now, we'll continue with how they look. And into the produce garden. Everything's pretty quiet in there. I can see there's been a few rabbit tracks, but not too many. And we'll see if we can walk around the outside of the produce garden here. Let's go around. Here, I'm just going to back up for a second. I'm speculating this is a, uh, a bird's nest from the summer that's fallen down. Let's see if we can get a closer look. There we go. That was the main part of the nest. Here's our blueberries. We'll see how well they do this year. The mesh is to protect against rabbits. We, hopefully we can remove that in another year or so. Oh, 
Okay. Since nobody's walked down this side, I think we will do the same thing. And we're going to go back down the... Actually, no. We will storm our way through the snow here. Let's do it. the garden. It's hard to believe that at some point this will all be filled and green. We have a ways to go on that. Here's our compost bin. As you can see, what's in there is certainly settled down. And we're going to be look to move that into the beds and help us to keep the beds uh, keep the soil in the beds a lot moister and more friable. And of course, when you look in the raspberry bushes, you'll see that we have rabbits bouncing all around in here see rabbit tracks all the way. Okay, let's continue on. We're going to go down the Woodland Trail and this is an area that this year we hope to really put in more native plants. cages that we have that are protecting our Saskatoons from the rabbits. We planted them on a Tuesday and I, when we came back on Wednesday there were a couple that were already chewed. Some tree with shoots has been under stress, so we have more shoots that we could use uh, for firewood once it had been cut and dried. Here's the kitchen garden. We won't go inside. And this year we'll be planting small tomatoes in here, cherry tomatoes, still heritage. But cherry tomatoes are something that visitors can then pick straight away and eat. As opposed to, here's a tomato. Oh, I think we'll have to take it home and cut it into pieces now. Okay, we're going to go down the rest of the path here. And then out into the parking lot area. Over the winter, this will be extra. 
moisture in the bed, these roots, some of them can go down 10 feet. And that's why this area will not we need watering as we progress through the summer. Let's see if I can focus in on, I see some wild irises here. lots of these seeds and they're good in moist areas. Over to our right is what we call the tent area which is just beyond the bear-proof garbage can and the recycling bin. Come around this way again. And we're back to the entrance area. And we'll walk back up that way. When we get to summer, I'll do the same tour again. Welcome to Real House.